content tab of the multi-leader style dialog box. So let's go up into the annotate tab, the leaders panel. Let's go down here in the lower right hand corner to the leader style manager. We're going to modify this leader style. We're going to go to the content tab. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the mtext properties because we chose the multi-leader type is mtext. So we can come down and say, oh, we have a default text in here. Um, so at this point then is an option we can specify a certain value we want to place. Not that common. We can also set the text style. So we can pick our list and pick any text style we want that matches our typical text style in our company. We can also pick the picker button here and create a text style if we don't have one and it'll bring us right to our text style dialog box and so we typically want this text style to equal the same text style that we're using for our dimensions and our text. Next is our text angle. We always want to keep it horizontal so it's unidirectional reading from the bottom of the drawing. Our text color is either by block or I would go with by layer. Uh, so if it's by layer then it is whatever layer you place your dimensions on such as dimensions if that dimension layer is red then you're going to have a red uh, multi-leader. Our text height uh, typically we use eighth inch uh, height for a mechanical. Left justify means no matter which way we orientate our leader that it's always going to left justify or if we put a frame around the text the frame around the text is used for basic dimensions, theoretical size dimensions. It will put a box or a rectangle around the text. A horizontal attachment. In the horizontal attachment, if we attach it from the left side, we got middle of the, of the top line. So if I go to the top of the top line, it goes up to the top of the top line. You can see it over here in, in the in the preview that my landing is parked at the top of the top line. So I could go to the middle of the top line. That means right now my landing is at the middle of the D and default. And if I go to the bottom of the top line it's parked down here. So we have all kinds of options here. Uh, we can go to the middle of the text. So if we have multiple lines of text that go into the middle of the text. Um, so we can go to the uh, middle of the bottom line. We can go to the bottom of the bottom line. Uh, we can underline the bottom line, underline all text. So we have a variety of options here. Uh, and this is all if it's from the left side. If it's from the right side, we have similar. We can go top of the top line. And so it will show us then on the top of the top line or middle of the top line. So this is depending on which side the leader points to uh, we can choose either one of these so we can go middle of the top line and you can have all kinds of variations here which you what but most companies settle on these are the two we kind of go with the ASME says that th those shoulder lengths and appropriate justification for leaders um, so it's a consistent leader length and it's appropriate justification um, is really how they state it. Our landing gap is the space between the leader line and the shoulder. Um, so this landing gap right here, so between the text, the lines of text and the shoulder, that little gap is our landing gap. Um, but typically uh, 0 0.063 or 625 is our standard um, measurement used typically. And uh, so I'll say OK and I'll say OK.